I chain smoke and I say fuck a lot. But I accept myself for the way I am. I accept you too. Viewer discretion advised. I've been working on a video, it's just taking a little bit longer. But I saw this yesterday and decided I should share it. Because I was awestruck when I saw it was from a couple days ago and not, you know, two years ago. From the Today Show. Doctors say they are seeing an alarming number of seemingly healthy younger patients having heart attacks. Now doctors at Mount Sinai are tracking patients to see if they can uncover the new risk factors behind the trend. Research shows that more than 10% of heart attack patients had no known risk factors such as obesity or smoking. Now there's a group of doctors at Mount Sinai here in New York City tracking patients to see if they can uncover the new risk factors behind this trend. Matias Escobar runs to control his physical and mental health. Bye, Matias! The 38-year-old fine-tuning his mind and body with years of triathlons. Until last October, when the unthinkable happened. Matias collapsed at the end of a race from a heart attack. How close to death did you come? I was dead for, for several minutes. I was you were dead? Minutes. I mean, my heart stopped beating and they, they, they kept me with CPR for 12 minutes until the ambulance came. The heroic CPR was caught on camera. His smartwatch recorded what happened to his heart. So you've got one heartbeat there. Yes, and then nothing. For two days, he was in a coma. Doctors mystified by how this young man in great shape came so close to death. Did you eat a lot of red meat? No. Did you drink? Very, very uh, little, I would say, social. How's the stress? I, I wasn't a stressed out person at all. Trying to unravel the mystery of young heart attacks, Dr. Deepak Bhatt, director of Mount Sinai Fuster Heart Hospital in New York City. He's looking into patients presenting with no known risk factors, like diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Dr. Bott says 12% of heart attack patients don't have those risk factors. We're seeing younger people come in like we never used to see before. Why is that? Well, that's a great question. I think I have an answer, but no, I'm not a doctor. I can't dance. I think there are a lot of reasons for that. One probably has to do with the obesity epidemic, but it could also be other things. I hate to say it, but you know, there's uh, more substance abuse these days, things like cocaine, for example. You think there's more cocaine abuse now than in the 70s and 80s? Was there an uptick then? Even smoking marijuana. Another potential clue, long smoldering inflammation. And I'm talking about inflammation in the arteries, supplying blood to the heart. that might lead to the plaque in that artery to act up, in fact, to rupture a blood clot to form. If that blocks the blood flow in that artery, that's what causes a heart attack or heart muscle damage. The cause of inflammation in seemingly healthy people like Matias, who are not obese and don't smoke, is not yet clear. I have an idea, too. I can't prove that he was, you know, penetrated or double penetrated. And I couldn't find anything in the rules for the New York City Triathlon. But I did find that he worked for API in New York as some kind of vice president. So I'm going to make an assumption that he probably was, you know, at least double penetrated to keep that job. How do you manage that, that fear of it coming back? So I think that's probably the biggest part out of this entire thing. What do you do with fear? Then you're going to start feeling things in your body that don't exist. So I, it's very important that you work on that right from the beginning. Yeah, Matias is learning to live with that fear. But in this case, knowledge is power. Dr. Bott says there are numbers we should all know. They're your blood pressure, your blood sugar, cholesterol, and yes, the size of your waist, because they can all be indicators of heart attack risk. And I'm happy to tell you, Matias is going to run that New York City try this year oh, to awesome. get it back, to get it back and conquer what happened to him exactly. last year. What a great fear. example, though, of this. If it could happen to him, right. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> Lord knows the rest of us are yes, in big trouble. In trouble. <laughs> I probably wouldn't even have said anything and made this video if they would have at least mentioned it, but they completely ignored the other possibility. The most likely possibility. <laughs> fucking stoned. I got motherfucking spaceship. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Cool.
ADUH AGAK ADA